We've been doing a lot of things uh, with position, but position isn't the only thing that that is a vector because lots of things have a magnitude and a direction. One of these things is velocity. Now, velocity is one of these, so when something's moving, like our object there moving from somewhere to somewhere, <coughs> it's moving in some direction with some, what's the magnitude of velocity mean? That's speed. This is one of these physics words where we have to be careful. This is one of these situations where physics uses terms extremely precisely in a particular way, and in everyday English, unfortunately, we use them sort of loosely in a non-particular way, and we can get into trouble if we don't think physics English when we come into the classroom. So velocity is a vector in physics. So it has a magnitude and a direction. The magnitude of the velocity of something is the speed. So this is a, a vector and a scalar. <coughs> and we typically aren't going to remind you about this all the time. We'll talk about it at first. So that if you're asked for the velocity of something on a test and you say it's three meters per second, that's, that's wrong because you gave a scalar and it's not a vector. So it's something to keep in mind. <coughs> and so a vector has a magnitude and a direction. So when we talk about the velocity of some object, we're talking about not only how fast it's going, but exactly in what direction it's going. <coughs> now, velocity can be incredibly boring if it's constant. So if we had an object <coughs> that started at this location here and it moved in a straight line at constant speed to this location here and this is a distance of 20 meters and it took it five seconds let's say and at every point, we looked at it from time to time, and we always found it going at the same speed in a straight line, being unbelievably boring, doing nothing interesting. We could say, well, its average speed was 20 meters divided by 5 seconds, so... Its average speed would be 20 meters, 5 seconds. It would be 4 meters per second. What was its velocity during this period? What's its velocity? Okay, so what direction is this? Plus x, right? So we got... Four zero zero meters per second. So if it goes on at that velocity forever, we can predict where it's going to be at every instant, and it will just be really boring. 